Hello there, Sharon Horn Elstrom, but you can call me Pajama Grandma. In case you haven't met yet, go ahead and put hashtag pajama in the comments below so that I know we haven't met and that I have a chance to say hi. I think that social media is all about being social and building relationships, don't you? Today is day 139, 138 days already. <laughs> We've done things to stretch our comfort zone. Something that just makes us feel better and braver and bolder and moves us in the direction of what it is that we want in life. To get people like me out of the rut that we happen to have been living in for far too long. For me, it was, you know, a decade or more. I just kind of got into a routine of life, going through my day-to-day -day stuff and not necessarily doing what my heart desired, but doing what I thought I should do or I had to do. So this year when my daughter found this book on my bookshelf, Do One Thing a Day That Scares You, and saw that I'd only done a couple days in it with a friend of mine, she challenged me. She said, hey, that looks like an interesting book. Why don't you use that to help you get out of your rut? So I did. I, and so far, I've done 138 days. Today is day 139. And it's one of those blank line pages. And I think I've expressed my, <coughs> excuse me, my struggle with these blank line pages. And this one says, handy any magnifying glass, I was a lion today by blank, blank, blank. So when I get these days, I have a couple of strategies. One is I go to a book that I got from my grandfather on quotes. And it is called 5,000 Quotations for All Occasions. And then I look at it and I look up a lion. And what does it say about lions? The lion is not so fierce as they paint him by Herbert. Do not pluck the beard of a dead lion by Marshall. A lion among ladies is a most dreadful thing. Shakespeare from A Midsummer's Night's Dream, Act 3, Scene 1. And it is not good to wake a sleeping lion. Philip Sidney, Arcadia. And then it says, see also animals. I didn't find that particularly helpful in triggering my thoughts of how can I be a lion today. I actually found it very confusing. So then I did my next best trick. I went to my handy dandy card decks and I found a card that says, and I kind of like this one, what if everything was always working out for me? I love to believe and think that life is rigged in my favor. I, I used to say it a lot more than I do now, but I need to get back to saying that because life is rigged in our favor. And let's read the back of the card because it's very wise, much wiser than I am. When you play the what if game, look for things that make you feel better. There's never a situation in which it is, there's not a way out. But out of habit, most people continue to choose the lack perspective until they eventually find themselves where it seems that there are no more choices. Have you ever done that? Found yourself in a situation where you feel like you're boxed into a corner and that you have no choices and there's nothing you can do? Well, that's a lie. There's always something that you can do. But as you hold to your intention to look for evidence of well-being and thriving and success and happiness, you will tune yourself into the vibration of those things. And so those kinds of good feeling experiences will dominate your life. So what that says is if you look for a solution, you will always find one. And I have found that to be true in my life. Have you found that to be true in your life? Probably. So that's how I'm going to think about being a lion today. I'm going to look for the possibility and the way of doing things, not the way of not doing things, the way of abundance, not the way of lack and scarcity. I challenge you to do the same, and I will see you tomorrow with day 140 of the Daily Scare Share. Have an awesome day. Don't be scared.